Welcome aboard, Navigator of the Seas, Miss Turner. <laughs> that was a good one. I know. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. So, why welcome aboard in the Captain Barbosa voice? Because Barbosa is awesome. That. And today is the day to check in for our next Royal Caribbean cruise. Yes, we've been putting it off um, because we wanted to be able to film it and show it to you guys. And this is on the aforementioned Navigator of the Seas. Yes. With Royal Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So this ship was uh, part, it's part of their Voyager class. If you saw our Mariner of the Seas videos, we have a playlist that we'll link to. You can check those out. This is the sister ship. But this ship was just refurbished as part of the Royal Amplification. But the other reason we chose this particular cruise, Perfect Day at Coco Cay is starting like almost now. We're catching it like during its first couple weeks. So we're really excited. We're checking in right now, so obviously we haven't sailed yet, but once we do sail and we get all those videos up, I'll link to this video as well to the playlist so you can check it out if you want to. Like we said, we are checking in today, but we're not just doing a normal check-in. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, Royal Caribbean offers an app that you can use on board the ship and you can use it before you go on your sailing yeah. and now you can even use it to check in for your cruise. Literally haven't done it before, I haven't even walked through it on like a trial run yeah. or anything because we didn't want to accidentally submit it and then not be able to show you guys the process. Right. So, so you're really going to see the first hand us navigating through this uh, arena. We have not done this before because on our prior Royal sailings, this was not available. This app was not available on the ships we were sailing on. However, they are ongoing, currently expanding the fleet that the app works for. So currently at time of filming, the ships supported are Adventure, Allure, Brilliance, Enchantment, Harmony, Independence, Liberty, Majesty, Mariner, Navigator, Oasis, Serenade, Symphony, and Vision. As you can see, there's a pretty wide offering. Uh, there's another app Royal Caribbean offers called Royal IQ. We're not really familiar with that one. I do think it's more uh, for the Quantum class ships, if I'm not mistaken. We are sailing on a Quantum class ship next year. If this is still in play by then, we'll show you that app then. Yeah. But this is called Royal Caribbean International. That's exactly how it comes up. So yeah, we wanted to see what the check-in process was like via the app and also just see what kind of things that we can get information about on the app. We're gonna be using a screen record on my phone here while we do this. Um, sometimes there'll be some things that obviously is, uh, you know, sensitive information like our passport numbers or whatever. So we, we won't display that. Those times we'll just keep the, the camera rolling. We'll show you like some screenshots maybe uh, with that edited. Just to try to show you as much as we can. Yeah. Like we said, we actually don't know what's gonna come up in this process. Okay, so. Pull up my phone here. I've got the app already installed now. We have not done any of the check-in process yet, but uh, I have logged into this app prior. So you would need to do the same, obviously. But once you've done that, we'll come up here with a little landing page. And it's cool because it has this like little animation, which this is actually the representation of our ship, Navigator of the Seas. It's really cool because you can see things like the water slide and the pool and stuff like that. It's really neat. It seems very well done thus far. What we want to do for the check-in though is go to, up to the top right here where it's like the little person icon. So obviously when it brings up this page, your information would be displayed here. And then so you can see right there, check-in available. So we're going to hit start check-in. And that comes up and now we select, you select all of the guests that you're uploading travel documents and photos for. So we're gonna go ahead and click both of our names here and continue. Then you choose what kind of document you're using. The easier way and the thing that would apply for all cruises, assuming you have it, passport. Hey. That's what we're gonna be using. Yes, if you already have a passport, always bring your passport. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You can see here, you can click on what kind of document. We're going with passport. Yes. That's the easiest one. And this is pretty cool. So you, I just hit a uh, scan passport and it came up. Obviously it asked if we'd like to use the camera. We're gonna say, okay. There's Chelsea's passport. So I'm gonna hold it like this. And we're gonna scan. I'm gonna try to scan. Oh, it wants it like this. Okay, so I guess you have to hold it. Okay, so yes, hold it, uh, what is this, portrait? At the very bottom of your main passport page where it has like your name and all those arrows and numbers, yeah. that's what it's scanning, just that part. It didn't care about any of the rest of it. So at the bottom, it'll ha it has a long strip of numbers and that's what they want you to scan. 
So then it's gonna come up, is everything correct? It has all of the information listed here. We're just gonna confirm that everything got scanned in and it did, so we hit yes, continue. You can hit no, rescan if it got something incorrect. Bada boom, bada bing. Hey! So I did it wrong because it brought <laughs> my name I didn't realize it was asking for mine specifically and I grabbed Chelsea's passport. So now I'm gonna redo it with mine. It has an option just to rescan. So that came up easily. Now, same thing, passport like this, phone like this, scanning the bottom section with all the numbers and arrows. Now it's implemented my information, which is correct. So I hit yes, continue. Yeah. Now it's matched up with me. <laughs> now you. Uh, manually input your address, which um, obviously we're not gonna display that. We need some Jeopardy music while you type. Mm -hmm. You're gonna ask for your full address um, and then an emergency contact. Mm -hmm. So just put the hospital. <laughs> but in all seriousness, for emergency contact, always pick someone who is not sailing with you. Put in the emergency contact's name and phone number. Then the next thing is, as you can see here, it asks for a security photo. It says expedited boarding may be available to guests to include a valid security photo. That's yeah. cool. I don't know if, if you've sailed before or if you've noticed this if you sail before, but um, they, they take your picture when you check in and every time that you get on or off the ship and you, san you scan your CPAS card, um, a picture of you shows up on their screen. So just to, I guess, keep everything safe, they know that the right person is getting on the ship. You can go ahead and take care of this and just make the process faster so you can get on the ship faster. Hey, no sunglasses, no hats, no groups. Sorry. Wow, this is kind of hard to position. Oh. My head's so big. <laughs> Here, do you want me to hold it? Let me take a selfie. <laughs> but yeah, just line it up. Take the pick. Oh, it looks so nice. So then you have to uh, click an uh, acceptance waiver. I consent to the use of my biometric data. It sounds like the movie 21. Biometric profile. That's another story. <laughs> what does that mean in layman's terms? That means that they're you're cool with them using your picture and oh. facial recognition. There was a lot simpler way to say that. Wow, we're rolling right along here. Now I asked about the onboard expense account. So mm -hmm. how you'd like to settle any extraneous charges you have on board um, when you charge with your CPAS card, mm -hmm. how does that then get settled? And then what we've always done is that we've always just put a credit card on file. If you do make any purchases, then you don't even need to go to guest services and pay them. It'll just automatically get billed from your credit card at the end of the cruise. Awesome. And yeah. I think that's Royal's preferred method because yeah. it's just so much simpler just to automatically run everything. Gives you the choice, credit card, cash account, or no charging privileges. So then you would not be able to use your CPAS card. I know maybe um, a lot of people do this if if they have a children, they just don't want to charge in the credit card willy nilly. Three hundred dollars at Challengers Playmakers Arcade. <laughs> what is it from um, Home Alone? Kevin, nine hundred fifty-six dollars on room, room service. service. Yikes. Yikes! All right, so we're gonna put credit card. That's what we're gonna use and. I, if I have to explain that we're not going to show <laughs> my credit card number. Back to Jeopardy music. Ding, 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 da, da. And funnily enough, it's kind of weird. Uh, scanning in your credit card is a pretty common thing nowadays. And yeah. we scanned in the passport, but mm -hmm. not, not the credit card. The credit card manually has to be put in. So just the uh, card holder's name, the card number, and the expiration date. You don't need to put in a CCV code. Is that what it is? CCV? Or is it CVV? Card oh. verification value. Thank you, Google. C answering v our questions. V. You do not have to put in your CVV. So we scroll down here and we have the, looks like the last thing for me is the cruise ticket contract. Mm -hmm. So you have to check and agree that you have read, understand and accept the cruise ticket contract. There's a link to that. Holy molasses. That's a <laughs> lot of stuff to read. We're gonna hit continue, get our cool little crown and anchor thing. And now it takes us to Chelsea's. It's so again, same process here, just what kind of documentation we're going to use. I'm going to hit scan passport, landscape, portrait. <laughs> there you go. I have to kind of go opposito there. Make sure there's no glare like I just had. Get those bottom parts in. So now we have Chelsea's information in, country of birth, same stuff. It saved the address. So that's cool. There is an option to edit, and I guess in case you did have uh, different addresses, yes. but emergency contact for Chelsea. Put that in, and now time for her security photo. We. It's me. Good with that? Yes. 
All right, we'll consent to the biometric data. All right, so then uh, come on back to the uh, onboard expense account. This is cool, it saved the credit card that I already put in for myself, so I can just choose that um, for Chelsea. And if you have something different, you can obviously put that in. Yeah. Well. So she agrees to her cruise ticket contract. Are you accept. sure? Yeah, if you wanna go. <laughs> All right, so now we come up here and we're back to our landing page. And now it says arrive at 3.30. No, we are going to be there much earlier than 3.30. We're going to pick the earliest time, which is noon to 12.30, and I'm sure this varies by sailing, yeah. by port. Uh, yeah, we choose the time. You can choose which guests are arriving at the time. I'll click both of us. We're both going to there. Now it says arrive at 12 p.m. Remember, you must bring your original travel documents to the port, a.k.a. you need to have these with you. One's upside down. You need to have these with you. It's not just good enough to put them in the app and do the online check-in. And specifically in your possession. So if you are leaving your suitcase at the port, you're not carrying it on, make sure you have your your passports or your birth certificates either in your purse or your whatever you whatever you have on your person, make sure you have your documentation with you. You can click view set sale pass. So this these are the documents that you provide to the check-in agent at the port yes now if you if you check in online you have to print these out but it seems like on the app you can just have them on your phone and scan it and there is a barcode to be scanned funnily enough we actually just returned from a business lunch where the uh one of our local managers that we met with from royal caribbean actually used this service himself yeah when he went on his own personal sailing and he said it was phenomenal made it so much quicker to get on board. Yeah, he said it made it basically instant, like scan and you're on. So I'm really excited to see how this pans out. So there's both of our set sail passes come up. It has them gold because that's our current uh, Crown and Anchor Society tier. Mm -hmm. I will say though, 27 points. This is a three night sailing. So after this one, we'll be at 30 and we'll be in the next tier. <laughs> that is the check-in process. Yeah. It was, it was that simple. And like I said, this is the first time we've ever done this. This on the app was easier than doing it on the computer. And it was really simple doing it on the computer online. But if it's available on the app, I'm going to do it on the app from now on because... It was really nice just scanning, and I like that you can go ahead and get your picture taken and get some of that other stuff out of the way. You usually always have your phone with you, so yeah. it's nice just to have everything right here. You don't have to print out the documents like you said. Yeah. Everything's squared away. All you just need to make sure you got these or your birth certificate and ID, whatever you're using. Yeah. But I like having it all on here. I agree. That was so simple and easy. Yeah. Highly, highly, highly recommend as long as everything checks out on the back end, which yeah. it should, we'll let you know either way in the videos. So we have wrapped up the check-in, which was a breezio. <laughs> so easy, but there's a lot of other great features on the app as well. We like to kind of show you and take you through so you can kind of get an idea of just what all this app can do for you. So first things first, I'm the realist. No, <laughs> first things first, we land here on this kind of like uh, landing page, I call it. This is what always comes up when you first uh, enter the app. It shows your, oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do this. I don't really know what the point of that is, but Wait. I have the power to move the earth apparently. So it tells you the port says day one, Miami, Florida. That's where we're sailing mm -hmm. out of. Of course, the navigator of the seas artwork because that's the ship we're sailing on. But as you see here, this kind of like a uh, scrolling, not like a ticker, but it keeps changing. It's like a little widget and it has the sunrise time, the sunset time, the temperature, the weather forecast what the next port is, so that's pretty cool. The top left corner you'll see ship time listed, which mm -hmm. is super helpful because a lot of the ports you'll visit may be different time than the actual ship time. Ship time typically sticks with whatever time it was when you left. You can see here, you can click the calendar at the top. It'll bring up this kind of like menu uh, that has all of the days of your itinerary listed as well as kind of an overview of what your sailing is and what dates you're going. And then you can click between the days. So then I click day two. And then that brings up the, the next day's items. So when you scroll up here, you kind of swipe up, I mean, it brings up this little scroll menu. The daily planner has activities and you see it says we're finalizing activity schedules because we're obviously not on the cruise yet. But our understanding is that once we are, this will basically become the cruise compass. You can click on the different activities and it's got some more information where they're at. You could add it to your calendar oh, once you get nice. on board. So that's pretty cool. So my calendar is over here on the right. You just click over that and you'll scroll and you'll see the different things. Uh, right now, we don't have anything on day two, but if I go to day one, it will show at six o'clock our ultimate dining package, three nights, uh, because the first night 
uh, the reservations already made for six o'clock. We don't know which restaurant yet, yeah. but it is at six o'clock and then we'll make the subsequent night's reservations once we're on board. So this is already on. So that's cool. You make reservations, it comes onto your calendar. That's kind of what you find here on like what it, like I said, like I call the main landing page, which is kind of what it defaults to. Mm -hmm. You can also click on some hints and tips. Over on the right, you'll see the little dining sigil. No, the little <laughs> symbol, the little symbol. You click that and that'll actually bring up, what do you know, dining. Uh, all the different restaurants, specialty restaurants, complimentary restaurants, the main dining room, bars and lounges, coffee and snacks. And you can actually click on these different venues. So I'll click on shops here. It gives you an option, find on deck. So you click that and look at that. It just brings up the deck plan. You can scroll, it takes you right to the deck that it's on. So there's Chops Grill right there on the left uh, with the little pink rectangular-ish shape. That is so cool. And not only find where it's at, but you can click the menu, brings that up and even each day, which for the specialty restaurants, I'm, I think that just stays the same, but maybe the main dining room, it would change the menu because that changes every night. Uh -huh. You can scroll through and see all the different things that they offer at each restaurant and the times that it will be seating. So chops on day one, 5.30 to nine is dinner. Um, tells you if it's specialty or complimentary included into your cruise fare, some descriptions, how much it costs, all the things you might need to know, um, all here on the app. So that's really, really handy. Okay, so another way to access the dining though, there's the little button on the right, but then you can also go to the next thing at the top where you see the three little icons, the ship, the calendar, and the person. We already did the calendar, so now let's go over to the ship. Oh, Ooh, and it turns. It's in the ocean. Ooh, ooh. It shows a ship, that's what it is. This is a breakdown of the ship. So for us specifically, this would be for Navigator of the Seas. For you, it would be the vessel that you are sailing on. So activities, dining, entertainment, shops, excursions, spa, fitness, and services. So we click on something like activities. It'll have the different venues available. You can click on those. Ooh. Again, find on deck, brings it right up. That's so cool. Shows you where it's at, good to know. Times, a little off on that one. We're not <laughs> on a 14 night sailing, but I, I think just the escape room is every day. I like that it, it tells you specific things about it too, like how there's an age restriction because escape room is only for 14 year olds and up. So it's nice that you can look on there really quick and not actually have to go to the location to find those important things out. Yeah, also like reservations required. You can't just yeah. walk up and do the escape room at your leisure. <laughs> so you can click on all these different activity venues. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? You just scroll through, look for the kind of classification that you're interested in, click on it, and it'll have those there. And it's the same across the board. We have activities, we go to dining, it's the same thing that came up on the main page just listed here entertainment of course casino and the theater and that kind of stuff um you know just all the things you might need even services so where to get the atm where the gangway's at internet assistance laundry the next cruise desk hey my favorites. always important yeah, don't forget that so again just you can even click at excursions and check out what they're going to have you can go day by day like we can click on perfect day at coco k and see the different things nassau see the different things so lots and lots and lots and lots of information yeah. we won't go through all of it it'll take too long uh, but it gives you an idea that you can go through each category and see those detailed listings and so you can click on those icons the three icons at the top to go between the pages but you can also swipe huh? which i will show you so we swipe and swipe and it takes you between those different uh screens that i was showing you just like that or you can actually tap the buttons at the top, which is hard to do backwards. There we go. <laughs> so different options of, of a navigating around the app. Ha! Navigating the hey. navigator. All right, so then the last thing we have is the third page, which is like the personal information page. Tells you your deck, your stateroom number, that's handy. Sure. You will always forget that. And your muster station for your muster drill on the yeah. first day, and as well uh, if you actually needed to go to the station for an emergency. Hopefully not, Yeah. but uh, good to know. You can click stateroom details, as you see. Details is probably not the right word. <laughs> <laughs> not much info at all, just the number, what kind of stateroom it is and who's in it. Uh, you can click your view set sail pass. There's the time that we chose as you saw earlier. And then this is kind of cool. This is a folio. Mm -hmm. So your recent charges on board. Um, there's nothing obviously yet because we are not on board. Right. But once we are, if there were charges, again, assume that they would show up here 
on this folio. We don't know how much in real time, but it is cool. There is an option to click select a different sailing. Look up your cruises with our fancy crown and anchor <laughs> logo. There's our navigator of the seas sailing that we were just looking at. And then of course we see another one down here, our anthem of the seas for January, our 11 night sailing. Uh, not yet available in this app because that is on Anthem, which is a quantum class ship and that's not one that we listed earlier, is it? Partner with Royal Caribbean that we were speaking about earlier did reinforce the notion that more and more ships are being constantly added to this app. Yeah, and he mentioned something really cool too that supposedly this app is going to get a chat feature pretty soon. So basically, so where you can text via the app other people on your sailing. That would be really nice and convenient. We don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet. He just said that they're working on it currently. But that's basically it. It's back to the main page and that's everything in the app. You can swipe through those three different pages. Yeah, so as you guys see, lots and lots of great goody information, helpful, fun activities that you can find here in the Royal Caribbean official onboard app and pre-onboard app. Wee! <laughs> I'm really excited to have it for this next sailing. I'm really excited to see how that check-in process is going to be. So I'm very impressed with it. Um, I'm so glad it's on this sailing and I'm glad they're expanding it because it's really nice. It's already paid dividends. That whole check-in process was so much quicker and easier. If you have any questions about the app or how to get checked in or anything with sailing or if you'd like to book a cruise with Royal Caribbean or any other cruise line, we are travel agents. We're always willing to help in any way we can. Leave a comment with any questions down below or shoot us some email or hit us up on our website. We have all of our travel agent information at the end of all of our videos. And we are going to be on Navigator very, very soon. So those vlogs will be up in the near future. But also too, I'm going to try to do some Instagram stories oh. on the sailing, which I've never done. So if I do them wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of an old lady when it comes to that stuff. I'm not, I'm not hip with the new technology, but I'm gonna give it a try. How do you do, fellow kids? Our sailing is May 10th through 13th. And I'll put a link to our Instagram below. So if you're on Instagram during those days and you wanna see what we're doing, Check it out. Until next time though, I think we're wrapped up here. We're checked in, we got our set sails. So we're gonna set sail. We'll say happy travels. Happy travels.